Hi, my name is Jenna Detrapani, and today I'm telling a story about three pigs, a wolf, and building codes. It's a modern day retelling of the three little pigs by James Hollowell Phillips. So here goes. Once upon a time, last June, there lived three pig brothers at the edge of Swine City. Now each brother built their own little home. One made out of straw, the second made out of sticks, and the third made out of bricks. And each of these homes was on one street, standing side by side. And one day, a big wolf came from the wild woods to become Swine City's new building inspector. Now you should know that there's one rule when it came to buildings in Swine City, and that was if they could be blown down with one huff and one puff, they were not up to code. Now, this wolf took his job very seriously. So on the day that he came to the neighborhood of the three pig brothers, he took a look at each of the homes and decided, hmm, that house made out of straw does not look like it's up to code. I'm going to walk up to that house, knock on his door and talk to him about it. So he walked up to that house knocked on the door and from within and, and said, little pig, little pig, let me in. From within came a voice, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, which caught the wolf off guard. So he decided to take matters into his own hands and test that rule himself. He took one huff, one puff, and down went that house made of straw. Then from out of the rubble, a little pig emerged and he ran and dashed next door to his brother's house, to the house made of sticks. The wolf watched him go and decided to follow him. He went up to that second house made of sticks and knock, knock, knock knocked on the door saying, little pig, little pig, let me in. This time he was feeling kind of bad about what he did before, but he was still willing to talk to the pig brothers. Unfortunately, the response that came from within was, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. So that big wolf was now feeling not only big, not just a little bad, a wee bit mad. And he decided once again to take matters into his own hands and test that one building code rule. He huffed and he puffed. And of course that house made of sticks fell right down. Out from that rubble, the two little pigs emerged and they both ran to the other pig brother's home, the home made out of bricks. Well, needless to say, at this point, the big bad wolf was tired of little pigs' houses not being up to code and little pigs running away, not being willing to talk to him. So not only was he a big wolf, not only did he feel bad, really bad, now he was mad. He was furious. He just wanted to do his job. So he stomped. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a good one. He stomped. See, he's feeling it right now. He stomped to that third pig's home. And he slammed on that door saying, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Well, the pigs are cowering inside, afraid of this big bad mad wolf and they refused to let him in not by the hair of our chinny chin chins so he was furious that wolf he huffed and he puffed over and over again but that house of bricks would not come down this time he insisted he was going to make that house come down no matter what so he had a terrible, horrible, worst, 
most despicable of all ideas and pulled out a helium tank. Kids, do not try this at home. And he went and huffed and huffed on that helium tank. He kept huffing on that tank until before he could puff, the helium from that tank lifted his body off the ground and drifted his body into the air, up all the way to the edge of Swine City and over the wild woods until he disappeared from view. Well, of course, the pigs were inside watching all this happening. And once they saw that that wolf drifted away, they decided that he was probably gone for good. So that night they held a party, which sure enough, I'm willing to bet broke a number of disturbance and noise codes in their neighborhood. The end.